The focus here is on bioenergetics, the application of the laws of thermodynamics to living systems. Let's consider briefly or review briefly different kinds of energy. When I've asked this question to classes in the past, I usually get heat, light, electrical, uh, rarely sonic, although sound is a form of energy. I often get atomic energy, uh, the energy of mass, though few people actually remember the famous equation of Einstein's E equals mc squared, which relates energy and mass to the speed of light. That's c in the equation E equals mc squared. From a physicist's point of view, uh, work is energy, and work is moving a mass from point A to point B. You may recall this if you've had a semester or so of physics. Of course, chemists and biochemists and biologists are almost always talking about chemical energy. The other kinds of energy you might remember are kinetic energy versus potential energy. Kinetic energy is the energy of a mass in motion, whereas potential energy is the energy of position of a mass. We've already encountered this if you recall the position and motion of electrons in an atom. Well, cells get energy by oxidizing nutrient organic molecules. Respiration can be summarized for most organisms as the combustion of glucose, and here's the equation for the combustion of glucose. Glucose plus oxygen becomes CO2 and water, and this reaction is energetically favorable, meaning this reaction releases nutrient energy that the cell can use. How do I know this? I know it because the equilibrium arrows are unequal and the long arrow is pointing towards product. Energetically favorable reactions produce more product than reactant at equilibrium. Organic nutrient molecules like glucose are made by reducing inorganic molecules during photosynthesis for the most part using solar energy. The chemical equation for photosynthesis is shown here. It's exactly the reverse of the equation for respiration, and therefore this reaction is energetically unfavorable, meaning it will require an input of energy for it to happen. And we know that that's the case also by looking at the unequal equilibrium arrows, in which the long arrow is now pointing towards the reactants.